What's the fine print? After a day where the president reached what he's calling a substantial phase one trade deal with China, allowing the averages to explode higher, Dow surging 320 points, S&P leaping 1.09%, NASDAQ pulling 1.34%, we need to know the deets before we can finally stop worrying. And that's how we can't really do this job until we stop worrying. At the moment, we still don't know much. We're getting some substantial agricultural purchases, some intellectual property safeguards in exchange for a pause in the tariff rollout, including a suspension of next week's planned tariff increases. I don't know. I mean, some mumbo jumbo about not calling them a currency manipulator. Wow, it was really shaky. Uh, that, so that's why it, was, see, it wasn't enough for the market. Uh, it was hoping for something a little less preliminary. Investors also wanted some leniency for Huawei, the big Chinese telco company, but Huawei wasn't part of the deal, so stocks pulled back dramatically in the last half hour of trading, with the semiconductors leading the way down. They had been explosively higher almost all the session. Without a Huawei deal, owners of the semis, among other techs, rationalized that maybe the deal's just a sop to the farmers. The president says we are nearing an end of the trade war. I will believe it when I see an end to the joint ventures that suck the life out of our companies and abandon stealing our intellectual property, among other particulars, including the end of flooding our country with fentanyl. Hopefully, though, as we learn more, we'll be able to focus on earnings season next week through the lens of sales and profits rather than just tariffs and trade restrictions. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.